Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov. Now I'm in here to share interesting things with you. In this training video I have collected the popular nail designs. I will be using one stroke nail art technique and fantastic gel paint from shapeofnail.com. As you can see now guys, I'm creating the shape for these nails using 100 grid file. I have already prepared nails, we push the cuticles, then we cut off the dead skin around the cuticle and we primer the nails. I'm using sculpting mix gel from shapeofnail.com, you may use it for the base coat and for the epics. Nails made with this gel are very strong and long lasting. How do you prepare guys brushes for the nail design? You know I used to cut some hairs around from the thing from thin brushes like number zero or zero zero. This way hairs become thinner and it's much easier to draw a thin line. If you want I can publish small video for showing how I do that. There are a lot of kinds of brushes on shapeofnail.com Flat brushes, angular brushes and thin brushes You may choose the best for you And just don't stick with the low quality brush Because your results depends on it I also want to give you guys some information about top cut and base cut. All you know that many nail technicians use rubber base cut. But some of them just don't know that this product is only suitable for short nails as a preparation, as a base for gel polish. And if you want to use it as a base for long hard gel nails 
This way you will have fault and such nails will be broken in one or two days. Especially for hard gel nails you should use matrix based gel or thin layer of sculpting mix gel. Because these products are hard, they are not flexible and they made special for hard gel nails. But I can say opposite things about rubber top coat. You guys may use rubber top coat on all products, no matter what is it. Acrylic product, hard gels, rubber product or gel polish. It works perfectly with all products and it will never be lifted because when the flexible product as a rubber rubber top coat is placed on the top this way it covers the nail perfectly and will not cause liftings so I can just give you an advice guys to try uh, the rubber top coat with a small amount from shape of nail top com and also try the matrix based gel from shape of nail top com for preparing nails for hard products. Please tell me down in the comments what do you prefer more, gel paint or gel polish. As for me, the most effective product is gel paint. From the one hand, I used to work with flat brush for placing product very close to cuticles. You know, it's not easy to load the paint on the brush, 
placing the brush into glass bottles of gel polish. That's why I'm using gel paint packed with drop bottles from shapeofnail.com. I can either using it as a gel polish, placing the regular lid with the brush into this pet bottle and I can also drop some gel paint on the palette and use my detail brush for tiny detail painting. And as you can see on the video, I have just poured the oil into the small containers. That's why the oil um, amount of this gel paint will work for me.
And finally guys, I want to say some words that results of your work, they depend on the time you spend with the brush and with the nail works. Don't worry if something seems for you not ideal. Just examine your mistakes and try not to repeat it in your next work. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next videos. Bye!